Hey, what's up, everybody? I got the Samsung washer. My lid broke. I'm going to show you what's going on. We went to shut it, and the side of it just broke, and now it won't shut, and it's all messed up. Um, they don't sell the plastic little top piece by itself. You have to buy the whole lid assembly um, for what I could find. I got mine on Amazon. The ad looked like this. Um, basically, to remove this, there's these little... Uh, sticker covers right here you got to take off and underneath them will be uh two phillips screwdrivers on each side and uh i'm going to remove this lid assembly and just replace it um it was a little pricey it was like 175 plus tax but um it's not too bad to replace you want to get these screws out and uh, don't lose them like i am i call these dad screws because if you watch out and they vanish on you they won't come back um, they're kind of a unique little screw, so don't lose it. Here's my two. So you got to get each side out. Even if yours is broken like mine, you got to get those screws out of there. Um, you could like hold it with pliers or something, and then you could unscrew it. Okay. So once you get these out, uh, put them to the side and save them because the new lid assembly, I don't need that. That's just part of the lid. The new lid assembly does not come with screws. Um, yeah, having a magnet to help out and get these guys so they don't fall is good. Um, once those are off, you can just kind of wiggle and pull this straight up and this whole lid assembly will come off. Um, I know my bowl is off, um, but you could do it with the bowl on. Now these are your hinges. These can come out. It's okay if they do. Just don't lose that washer on them. And they go in like this. Uh, at idle, they should just point up. And they're very strong, so don't hurt yourself bending them down or nothing. You can just leave them like that for now. Got my new one from Amazon. It came in a box. Um, I got mine slightly discounted because it was like a damaged package one. Here's the part number for it. Samsung had a recall on these lids because they were like busting open when the washer was running and slapping people. So I don't, I don't know if this is the updated part or not, but this is the only part I could find online that wasn't super uh, expensive. So once I got it open, uh, here's it comes with a bowl, it comes with the glass, the whole, all, both the upper and lower plastic panels comes taped up, and then uh, here's the little spots that the screws go, and this will just slide right over those hinges, and then you just put the screws in on each side carefully. Um, Good time to clean this. Mine was kind of dirty, so I just cleaned mine up. Um, so I have my all the tape taken off of the lid, or most of it, and then I'm just going to slowly lower this down. Um, take your time, and then those hinges should just kind of find their way, find like what little area they're supposed to go into. You'll kind of know when you lower it; it'll just feel like it'll, it'll just feel right. And then once it's in place, you could put the screws in. There's one, you know, one right here, one right here. Get these in. Um, you might have to kind of jiggle the lid a little bit and move it up and down a couple centimeters to get the bolts to line up. I kind of had to put a little bit of pressure on them, pushing them in to get them to grab the threads. I wouldn't take those mega tight. I'll just get them, you know, pretty snug and secure. Once both sides are good, uh, I would just carefully lower your lid, make sure everything lines up right. You know, don't just slam this down in case something's wrong. You don't want to break anything else. I just lower it. It shouldn't lock with the power off. It only locks when you turn the power on and actually start the washer. Um, but it should open and shut uh, and look pretty good. Uh, it didn't come with new covers for this lid, so I guess I'll just leave them like that. It's not really a big deal. Um, make sure you get all the tape off. And uh, there you go. So I hope this video helps you out. Any additional information in the comments is appreciated. Thanks for watching.